What's going on, everyone? Welcome to So Much Hype. This is episode 15. I'm your host, 8-Bit Matt, and this week I have two Charlies with me. I've got Charlie Wiggins. Hello, hello. And Niemer. Hey, guys. What's up? Guys, thanks for joining me. We've got three topics we're going to cover today. We're going to cover Metal Gear Solid 5 Impressions Week 2, Destiny Patch 2.0, and we're going to round out with some indie love at the end. But before we get into those topics, guys, what have you been playing? I know the answer to this, but Wiggins, what have you been playing? Uh, well, it's simple. Um, Metal Gear Solid. Mm-hmm. It has so much content, it has taken over my life. Mm-hmm. And um, I might become unemployed living on Nemer's couch. Nice. I Nemer? guess. Airbnb. I guess. Nemer edition. Oh, uh, <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna clean out this office anyway. You can come live in it. Boom. It's gotta pay for it. Um. So, <laughs> I am playing uh, Heroes of the Storm. Oh yeah. I just can't get enough of that. Um. It's addicting. Also, also, you know, as we talked last week about how exciting STFU looked from the trailer, mm-hmm, I got to mm-hmm. try it out, and uh, it's. It is just as much as the trailer, you know, promised. Oh, absolutely. And um, after our after our podcast uh, last week, I decided to give Metal Gear Solid a try again. Okay. So, uh, yeah. And you still hate it. I, uh, it's not. I'm, it's nothing I'm, what you want it to be. So I'm I don't. Try it so hard, man. And there's just like things that just drive me insane. Well, we'll get to those in a minute. I, I've been playing very similar games to Nimer. I've been playing STFU. I am at the final boss, or at least what I think is the final boss. What is that again? Super Time Force Ultra. Oh, sorry. It's the, it's the gold, PlayStation Gold. Bro, it's just Bro funner Force. to say STFU. It's Bro Force, right? Wasn't it called that? No, 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 no. Bro Force is a different game. Oh, shit. Yeah. What is this one? Super Time Force Ultra is like side scrolling Mega Man style, but there's different characters. But you can reverse time all the way to the start of the match. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking the same thing. Okay, cool. I think yeah. they had like a Bro Force edition. Maybe. I think that's another game too. Um, that I, I, I remember seeing that one on Steam. Okay, okay. But uh, I've been messing around with Destiny Patch 2.0 after it downloaded. God, the 18 gigs. Yeah. Took just... a day and a half. Goodness. Oh, um, God. Yeah, it, it's a serious update. Will that be on disc if I get the disc? Uh, Maybe. N- yeah, I don't know. Psych, I'm not getting it. You know what? You know what's going to happen is with all these games anyway. You buy the disc, you insert it, and it's like, oh yeah, you got the disc, and now you got to download 30 gigs anyway. It's like an access code. It's like, oh yeah, <laughs> you own the game. Into, but with as slow as uh, the servers are for PlayStation, it's nothing I want to deal with. Oh yeah, that yeah. was. It was that brutal. was exactly what we were going through yeah, last yeah. yesterday. So while well, that was going on, I played Heroes of the Storm. So I got a little hands-on with the new uh, – well, I didn't get hands-on with the character, but we played alongside it, so we'll talk about that too. I forgot. Um, new character in Hots. Uh, his name's Rexar, but really the character is Misha because it's all about the bear. It's all about that pet. Uh, and, uh, yeah, very interesting. But let's jump into Metal Gear Solid, guys. Let's talk about it. We can round oh, out. Oh, well, well, well. Did you guys play the other game together, the indie game? Yeah, no, it's single player. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I, some, I played is, it on the is plane. There, is there split screen or is there um, online co-op or anything? I don't think so. You know, so. I haven't even checked yet. I think, I think there was. Checking. Maybe. Because uh, from the trailer, it looked like it, but then when I was yeah. playing it, it looked like it was just me controlling all those dudes. Yeah, you just so control all of sure. them. I'm not sure. That was me with Rocket League. I didn't know it was multiplayer. Or split screen for the longest yeah. time, like a month. You're welcome. For, you're welcome for that one. We had like five people over, and everybody wanted to play. It was like, <laughs> sorry guys, one person. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I'm not Seats sure about that. Taken. <laughs> but uh, I, I, I played as one single player at least. Enjoy it. It's it, the dialogue's really entertaining in that game for sure. Um, but let's talk about Metal Gear Solid. Nemer, I know you got some complaints. Uh. How are you feeling, Batman? Talk to me. All right, so this I, is Konami I last support night, desk. Last night I I was you know I I got into my groove. I was like, okay, I got some time. Mm-hmm, I'll mm-hmm. just play one mission. And I, first thing I want to say is I really love how each mission starts out like a like a TV episode. Yeah, you know? I do like that. It's like yeah. starring you know 
big boss and, and this and I, I, just, I really like that. It gives me, you know, it, it makes me feel like I am I am the person starring this starring in it. Oh yeah. Um, however, I was expecting to take maybe like forty minutes, and I did this mission, and it took me four hours. Well, welcome. <laughs> yeah, that sounds and, about right. Like you know, part of it's my own ADD of like spacing out or. You know, then I'm like struggling because, you know, I'll like, I want to trank everybody. Oh, yeah. And I only have so many bullets. There's like maybe 20 bullets. And I just can't do what I want to do. Wait, 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 wait. Let me just, what? let me catch you up on something. You're familiar, you, you know, you can call in supply drops so you can get more trank darts, right? Uh, no. Okay. Like... All right. A little bit of lesson for you. Wiggins, uh -huh. I hope you know this too. <laughs> you can call down uh, new weapon lo loadouts, new armor new you know more ammo for all your stuff you open up the eye droid you toggle to the right <laughs> first option is supply drop and you can drop it down and like pick anywhere on the map i have even used it offensively to take out guards that i just couldn't reach on my own so Wait, hold on you use the, the the drop or the helicopter no supply drop i literally just dropped on their head and knocked them out okay i didn't know that part That's boom cool. that's what you call creativity <laughs> That's why I've got them S ranks flying in for days, gentlemen. Okay, wait. So it won't. So you can do that, and it won't change. It won't lower your your rank. What do you mean lower lower what rank? I don't think so. No. So I'll tell you this. No, not the not the supply drop. Uh, wait, what what, mi what uh, mission are you on, Nemer? Oh. Uh, Nemer, what so, mission okay, are you on? Okay, so the mission I was on is I had to I had to eliminate three generals. Oh, right? Okay. Yep. So oh, are they driving around in the trucks in different places? Oh, I, 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 maybe I, I, I kind of like stumbled on a town. I like captured yeah. a guy and in interrogated him, and he was like, "Oh yeah, we got a general here." So I, <laughs> you know, used my trank gun nice. on that guy, and before you know it, I had five trank bullets left. And I'm like, because I got a, I got an extra, I got a, like an extra achievement for like. You know, tranking him and 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 sending him up in the sky, right, right. Capturing. So I was like, "Oh, cool! I could do this with everybody." Mm -hmm. But you realize I don't have if what you have like twelve yeah. Fulton things, and then you have like you know, oh. <laughs> so supply drops. They're they're really good. Um, there is a mission where you're fighting against a um, a special unit. I S ranked it because I knocked her out with two supply crates. I didn't even fight her. Wow! <laughs> Boom! Did, that was the case with her. Yep, that's how I took her out. That's funny. Yep. Um, S ranked. Neymar, we'll, Boom. Neymar, we'll make sure to uh, send you a strategy guide in the mail. Yeah. Like now, now, now that you've opened my world, I'm. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna. It, now it's gonna take instead of like four hours to complete a mission, it's gonna take like eight. Because now I'm going to want to trank everybody. I'm going to want to Fulton everybody and every gun I see. Oh, oh yeah. my God. Oh. Well, so. you'll get an ability with your binoculars that shows um, yes. each of their skills here soon. Yeah, so you can, oh, start, yeah. you got, can start ignoring them. So there's like special surprises, like ones that are like gold and they just. Yeah. Oh. So what I do is I scan everybody, anybody with an E, D, and now at this point with the C, I just shoot in the head. They have an A, <laughs> I think of value. I'll, I'll fault them. Yeah, so you have very you, No, boom, you're dead. <laughs> Pretty much. Roasted. If I could line them all up in a line, I'd do the same thing too, but... Yeah. So I'll tell you that... Too harsh for um, Nima's world. I didn't know uh, that so, you could... Oh, go ahead, go ahead, Nima. So I guess with, with knowing that, I think a lot of my, my, my angst against this game, mm -hmm. I think I just have to play it more. Yeah. Because it's... it's what mission are you on? What uh, what mission? Not like, side ops, I, but I just finished mission seven. Okay, yeah, you're still in. I uh, you're still in tutorial phase. I think I'm still in tutorial phase, and I'm on like thirteen. Mm. Um, no, we're out of it. I don't. I mean, you're, you're still you still get like additional stuff, but who knows? But you're starting to get like you're like oh, there's this one extra thing. You're like, okay, cool. That's that's nice to know. Oh, whenever you get frustrated, Nemer, just go to your cassette tape and turn on all the '80s music you've collected. <laughs> yes. And I, just relax. Do your line of coke on your couch <laughs> and just enjoy the eighties music and everything that was meant to be. Also, D Dog like... is the best. Once you get D Dog, you you're gonna love the game more, even more. So I do wanna say something about side quest side ops. I was like, I want I wanna do something easy for some easy money. Oh yeah. Uh, you know. And I went to 
do the, I guess it was like the target practice. Uh huh. Uh huh. You know? Oh. <laughs> oh. I lost one. Like I was, I was doing. Well, I didn't lose it, but like it's one of them you can't can't find very well. Sometimes they hide it on you. Yeah. yeah, that's nowhere near what I was thinking. I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna shoot like three targets. This will be great. No, it's thirty five. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like of course it's Metal Gear style. I will tell Don't you. Don't sweat the money too much because you'll you'll run you'll eventually build a base and then you'll be able to send people off on missions. Yeah. That'll bring you back resources and pretty troops. consistently. Oh. And that plus on top of your missions plus on any materials or stuff that you capture that you can sell. Yeah. Money will really not become an issue. I've later got GMP on. for days, man. Okay. I'm like Scrooge okay. McDuck swimming. But that said, with all the stuff, with all the stuff that's become available all of a sudden, because I've been leveling up like crazy, mm-hmm. everything like I'm broke all the time unless <laughs> I like slow down and don't buy. Anything. Oh really? So yeah, it adds up. Quick. So yeah. let me ask you this: Did you guys play uh, Ground Zero? Yeah. Okay. No, but I didn't transfer my stuff. So I transferred over. I have Hito Kojima as my intel boss he's like an s plus rank oh that's what i was worried about not doing it on my ps4 (laughs) i knew something was gonna happen there so um it's i mean it's pretty cool i didn't i didn't do a whole lot of that i think i was like 20 percent complete on ground zero but still nice to get some of those guys in there it was really funny i was like oh hey hito what's chill you just chilling out intel base now boop 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 well i think you you might be able to no i guess you can't you can go back I, I didn't. Anything. I didn't load up my save data till I was on mission eight. Well, I'm on. I'm on PC. So. Oh yeah. So I don't know about that. I don't know if there's cross. Uh, cross so what did you get? Just I so you got the sneaking suit early, and then you've got. Um, what yeah, else did you get for transferring I, your stuff? Any any uh, the side ops you did there, all the the guys you saved, you get them. Um, okay. And so I'll tell you this: spend some time running around Mother Base. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff in there. I ran in to a character that you save in Metal Gear uh, Ground Zero. And she was just in a room. Yeah, I found her. I like walked in. I was like, oh, what's up? Well, I was, I was looking for the other chick. And then... Oh. Because she's Wait. in her cell. So yeah. there's... All on the same island or whatever. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. And I, and I ran into the door and I was like, oh, crap. So. Yeah, so I think so there's, there's a ton of those. There's actually places to go in there because I just yeah. I run around and every door is closed. Yeah, so. they'll uh, it, it, what they'll do is they'll do a side ops connected to it, and so you'll just click to do the side ops, and then they'll pop up an icon wherever it is on the mother base. Yeah, mm. so you don't really need to go running around for hours. You can uh, yeah, but I do unless you think want to go to the petting some... zoo. You uh, can go to the petting zoo. The petting zoo is dope. The petting zoo. Is dope. Okay, yes. yeah, this the game is. Zoo. <laughs> way on. bigger than I, I could possibly you're, imagine. You're scratching the surface. Later on, I think oh. I just uh, like now you like there are other locations you can go to like Africa. So. So eventually, like when once you hit level twenty five on all your bases, uh-huh. you open up the multiplayer component, which is like Clash of Clans. Oh yeah. <laughs> but for Metal Gear Solid style. Metal Gear Solid Clash of Clans. So just know that's there, <laughs> that's a possibility. So hang hang with it, Nemer. Just. You know, played a little bit. Um, granted, Destiny Patch 2.0 just dropped. So, thoughts on that, Wiggins? I wish you would come back and join us. Uh, lots of nice improvements. They've kind of like re—they've done all, redone all the music. They got rid of Dinklebot. Now we have no uh, Nolan. Can you, can you Nolan. tell me how they fixed the storyline? So, what I'm looking. Yeah, yeah, sure. So, going forward now, and even all the old missions. They've got, you can skip the cup scenes, check number one. Uh, but just from what I've seen so far, and we'll do a more in-depth uh, discussion next week, and we'll have some of my boys from, from Skybox on here to chat about it so we can get a good roundtable discussion going. But lots more cut scenes. The, the, they're, they're going doubling down on story. There is a full story to hit max level. And then once you've hit max level, there is a in-game story, so another set of missions that you need to do. And they're adding more cutscenes to sub-quests, so there's like a sub-set quest you can do for Eris, was, who is one of the DLC uh, story giver, quest givers. And everything is bundled into quest uh, like checklists. So now like even the old-school missions have them. You can still go back and get them now. It's like, oh, okay, go to the tower. Now go to the Cosmodrome, kill all these dudes go here, do this. 
it kind of like questified every, all the story missions. So right. the old story is probably still going to be the same, but going forward, there there's much more entrenchment. You can pull out uh, your Nolan North bot and send him out, and he can scan stuff and give you more detailed story about things. So if you didn't scan that, you may not know as much detail as I do about X thing. Um, is it a lot uh, noob friendly? New it's it, it, they've simplified a lot of the uh, currencies. They've also removed light from your level. So now, if you log in today, you'll be like I don't know wh whatever level you left off in. So let's say you're 22. You're you, boosted up to 25. So you'd be bo yeah. If oh, wow. your 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 light level was 25, you'd be level 25, and you can actually log on right now and start playing and level up to 34. And the max level will be 40 when Taken King comes out next week. So. So, but I don't have any expansion packs. I just have the original. Um. So if I were you, I think I would buy, go buy like the sixty dollar. Actually, no. GameStop. This isn't a plug, but GameStop. I was telling my brother about this. You can turn in your old copy of Destiny for twenty bucks towards a new copy, uh, the Legendary Edition. So forty bucks, you get Destiny, the expansion, and both DLCs. Well, that's better than I was looking at. Yeah. So I, I saw the deal on like their Twitter or something. And okay. it's, there's a small window. It's like a few days that you can do it, but yeah. for forty bucks you get everything that I pay like one hundred thirty dollars for. So, go for it. I think I think you you might be surprised. The story is looking really good. Well, the only month I would hop into is for October until okay. fall. It comes out in November. That's fair. Do it, man. <laughs> um, come in for a month. Play with us. Yeah, come in for a month. They made it a lot easier to like understand. Um, how how important gear is like when you put new gear on there's like this like flashy animation that says oh you're stronger and you're like oh nice that's helpful um there's like uh arms day weapons so you can go to the gun guy and just take weapons he just gives free weapons and they have like kind of bounties built into them it's like get headshots and you're like okay and you get headshots you get rep with that guy and then you come back to him and you can buy weapons from him and he'll he gets weapon shipments every week on wednesday so they're just adding a lot more uh, like ritual elements into the game that aren't like, I need to get in at, online every day and play. It's more like, oh, I just need to play one day a week, and I'll get all my stuff. I mean, the bounties are much easier to get. I did all my Crucible bounties in two games. Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, another fun fact, I'll tell you, Nemer, I have a, I pledge allegiance to Dead Orbit, I have a Dead Orbit quest. Dead or request right now in my inventory. And so, it says the reward is an exotic. Hmm. So very curious to see what that's oh. about. I've been working on it, uh, but hmm. I'm, I'm wondering yeah, I, what it is. That's, I guess maybe that's how we're going to get our new exotic, some of our new exotics. Maybe, I don't know. So we'll find out. But um, it's taking me a while. It's like I got to do Crucible and I got to do Vanguard stuff while wearing all dead orbit gear so interesting to say the least yeah but, uh, but i'm excited about it uh, like i said we're, we'll have a deep discussion next week first impressions uh very similar to how we've done me uh, metal gear solid for the past couple weeks so what the thing that i'm excited about mm -hmm. is atheon's epilogue oh god it's get, no longer trash it's still trash get that out of here <laughs> that's actually that's a great point we didn't even talk about pvp uh rift Couple new game modes. Rift is fantastic. It's kind of a single point capture or capture the flag. One flag, capture the flag. Lots of fun. Uh, the Crucible is fantastic right now because everyone's using like all kinds of weapons. It's not just yeah. thorns. It's not just shotguns. It's it's kind of a wild west for right now. Oh, it's, it's great. Fun. And it's it, there's the the matches are a little bit closer. There's lots of ebb and flow to them now. So I'm really really enjoying this week. So. Wiggins, this is a good week to get in on it. So maybe at least start downloading that patch and join us. And you can play all the new Crucible maps for free this week. You don't even need the expansion to well, play. Well, if I trade in my disc, then I won't have it. It'll it'll only take you uh, but uh, three days to download. Yeah, so, I'll, I'll, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I mean, like, if I go do this $20 deal with GameStop, I, I won't have my disc anymore to play. Well, play a little bit and then go do it, deal. Oh. 
I'm looking at the dates here. All right. Well, you figured it out. But it'd be nice for you <laughs> to join us. Let's continue the podcast without me pondering about All right. purchasing <laughs> Destiny. A- any, other, any other things you're excited about, Neymar, for Destiny? Uh, I'm just, you know. Is there a new class? New subclasses for each. Three new subclasses. I want a new class class. No, no new classes. The... Okay, so Wiggins, if you I want have Borderlands new... characters to star in it. That's nope. what I was going to ask you is what would be the class if you could have a class? Yeah, this? there you go. Tell us. Tell us this class. Uh, I want to be the little drone thing itself. You want to be Claptrap? What, the Claptrap? <laughs> yeah. Or a ghost? Claptrap would be box them. Give you a ghost that has like a, a couple abilities to shoot out, you know, mm. some weapons. Nice. No, I just, I just want him to slow down every mission. Like, I just want to be able to slow down everything you guys do. <laughs> that sounds terrible. Thank you repeat content over and over again. You're a troll, and I don't like you right now. <laughs> All right, but I'm done with that. Okay, this deal is valid from September 12th to September 21st. Boom. So I I can't even do it yet. How so about see, that? download it and play for a couple of days, then go do the uh, deal. All right. All right. On to don't our you final dare! Topic. Don't you dare tell me Atheon's epilogue is trash. Trash. When I get there. Trash. Yeah. Okay. It's not trash. It's um, a beautiful gun. It's okay. You can b- keep believing it. Guys, let's finish our final topic, and it's all about that indie love. I've been playing Super Time Force Ultra, or STFU. I uh, had a, several flights over the, the Labor Day holiday thingy-majig, so I was playing it. Yeah, where'd you go? I, I went to down to Corpus Christi, man. I was in Texas. Golf. Te- Tejas. Yeah. I see. Grandfather's 80th birthday, man. It was a good time wow. with the family. So, cool. Yeah, it was good. But... Lots of flying, so I got lots of Vita time, and I was playing Super Time Force. And Is there a baby in the background? Maybe. Yeah, it's a baby called Oscar. Oh, it's a little okay. kitty cat. Um, Sorry to interrupt. No, no, you're fine. It, man, I just love the like the love these developers put into their indie games. I, it's You can see it. You can see the, the, the well-craftedness of it all. It's just fun it just feels good you know super time force is just one example of that adding these special characters for the playstation version like the president shuhei yoshida you got uh galahad from the order and the journey journeyman from journey whatever anyways but some really fun characters are just exclusive to that it's like man like you guys put some love into these characters they they're not just clones of other ones they're completely unique and it got me thinking about some other really solid indie games that just have this passion. And it makes me wonder, you know, is that where the love for the, some of these games is going to be? Like, are we going to, you know, is that what we get because they're gems, they're one of a kind, where a lot of these games are becoming annualized, like even Destiny or like Call of Duty? Or is, you know, do we are we still going to have those those gems? Like Metal Gear Solid, Grand Theft Auto, or those ones that they only come out every, you know, four or five years even fallout four and they have that same love but they're a triple a quality like are indie games going to fill that love for gaming space that's just kind of my like my thoughts and i love these indie games and i think well they have. they'll be around more because of the development time so sure. there's that yeah and um and and they're really building their own niche like oh yeah you know uh so Games like what what I've been playing is like I played that Super Guacamole Ooh, yeah. Championship Edition Turbo or whatever yeah, yeah, Ultra. Yeah. Exactly. And it's it's genuinely funny because it's you could tell it's people who grew up with us and, and played games and now it's like he's making fun of he's making fun of it, but also it's still entertaining. Oh know? yeah. It's a treasure to them. They're like, look, I love these things as kids. Now I'm going to make something that is my my childhood. Mm-hmm. So uh, it's they're fantastic. I, I, I love I agree. it. Uh, would you guys like to see more of that in the AAA space, or is it just we're just out of that world now? Is that indies filling that void? I think there's plenty of it. I'm just trying to find the time to play it all. Yeah, that's fair enough. You know, indie games are coming out a lot quicker and more often it's than true. big games, and and that's what's there to fill the void in between. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, the that's bigger actually what I, what I do is a lot of my time is I'll spend it on an indie game while waiting for you know some some big crazy game that's going to come out, yeah. and I enjoy them. And the beauty of it is a lot of them are short enough that you can play them in between or something. Oh yeah, I I, and, I agree. 
I like their short and, games. And you are seeing a lot, you know, triple A AAA titles will still put in that love and that, that factor, and they'll even, you know, hide in like Easter eggs mm-hmm, all mm-hmm. the time. Like, I think there's a Easter egg for for Silent Hill in, and as a matter of fact, in um, Metal, Gear, Metal Solid. Gear Solid. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. I heard that. So. So I think they're trying, and I think they're trying to incorporate. I just don't. I I think their time constraints and their development cycles and all right. the other you know bureaucratic BS doesn't allow them to do it as much. Right. I agree. Yeah. Well. Any other indie games that you like can think of off the top of your head that that you really enjoy? Did you see that? this uh, Warhammer chess game that came out? No, but Hammer? I I kind of want it. Mm-mm. I don't know how often you guys get on the Steam store, but it's pretty epic. Um, it's on sale, just came out. It's getting really good reviews, but Warhammer it's a chess game chess? mixed with uh, Warhammer 40K, and um, it, it has all like intense, uh, uh, you know, where they attack each other and stuff, and it's pretty pretty violent, and it's pretty pretty cool if you're into that world. So, And Sweet. if you don't mind chess, and it's a fun I little game chess. to play on the side. I was a chess it's... champion in middle school. Bring it. There used to be another. There used to be an old PC game that was a lot like that. It was some game my dad had. I was I was like eight years old, and it was it was like animated chess, where whenever like a rook would take a pawn, a, the the castle would like turn into like a a, a golem and it'd, like Ooh. beat the crap out of the. What, what I think it was called game? Battle Chess. Battle Chess. Yes, Battle yeah. Chess. So good. Yeah. Yeah, so so I I love games like that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take a look at that. Good good call out, man. Well, anything you guys want to wrap out wrap up about? I know the league is playing this week, and I've heard it's the final season, so that makes me a little sad. Um, but you know, I think they're just gonna do a spinoff and go into Rocket League. Ooh, perfect. I like that. All right, guys. Well. Charlie, Nehmer, thanks guys for joining me this week. Guys, thanks for listening to this show. This has been episode 15. And uh, yeah, give your thoughts about Metal Gear Solid, Destiny Patch 2.0, and what indie games do you love? Let us know in the comments below. And we'll see you guys next week. Later. See ya. Gator. Gator. My keyboard on my way. Let me bring this in front of my face so you can hear me more clearly. We we love we love to hear you. Oh good. More clearly. I'm glad that someone likes to hear me clearly. Love. So, love. Not just like. Love. Oh. Clearly loves to hear you clearly. Oh, thank you. I clearly. appreciate it. That's so kind clearly. of you guys. That's just him, not me. Oh. Yeah, I feel like most of the internet does not agree with the memes.